Well, at the end of last year, uh, the school year, Eastbury Elementary School in Glastonbury closed. Mm. So this year, many of those students moved over to Hopewell Elementary. To make the transition a little easier, some parents and teachers had an idea to create a space that focuses on kindness. And as Melissa Cole shows us, the project has really taken off. Thousands of rocks have taken over the front lawn at Hopewell Elementary School in Glastonbury, each with a special message. I like this one because it's just telling them to like be you because if because everybody's beautiful no matter what. Third grader Vivian tells me it's a great place for kids to visit when they need a little pick me up. This garden is for people like if they have a bad day they can just come and pick up a rock and then bring it home with them and read it. Ella in fifth grade says this is just a really unique place. I think it's really special because someone could come here and find a rock at just the right time. The idea for this kindness garden came from parent Lori Lucy. I have always been inspired by Megan Murphy, who's the founder of the Kindest Rocks Project. I believe this is a huge heart project for myself personally, and it just comes from my core that I believe nowadays it's more important than ever for our kids to be kind and to breed more kindness and bring more kindness into the world. Lori approached art teacher Don Mistretta to help get it started. Lori came to me last spring and she said, what do you think about a kindness rock garden? And I instantly jumped on board because I think it's what kids need, kindness, a little kindness. We launched the garden last May. Um, we seeded it with over a thousand painted rocks with inspirational messages and artwork. And um, we resupplied it at the beginning of the school year with another thousand rocks um, with messages. This Kindness Rocks project was started through a grant from the Home Depot Foundation. Kids, teachers, parents, members of the community all paint the rocks and contribute to the garden. Fifth grader Ethan shows us his. I'm holding my rock, which is tomorrow's another day, so even if you're not kind, there's tomorrow or another day, so you always can choose different actions. Nadia in second grade found her favorite. Um, I chose this rock because it has my favorite summer animal on it. And I also want people um, to stretch out their neck and make friends. Great. And here's one with a special message made by Forrest in third grade. I made this one because um, it's um, everyone's special and people, um, people with autism deserve kindness too. Be yourself, be kind, autism speaks. I love that. And what about this one with the cat on it? I like, this one's my favorite because Nobody's perfect, and also, um, I like cats too. This one I created because you should be lots of things like kind and caring, but you should always, most importantly, be yourself. Um, I made this one that says you're never fully dressed without a smile. It's from the movie Annie, and I just love it because it's telling them to smile. It just makes everyone happy. I love it. Hopewell Elementary School's principal, Kathleen Murphy, loves to watch families admiring the garden. Uh, after school, even at 6 o'clock last night, I drove by and I saw parents and families in the garden looking and, and smiling and laughing over the different um, rocks that were in the garden. And I just love that feeling that it touches your heart. It can cheer people up when you're feeling blue or whatever. Just come out here if you're having a bad day and look around at the rocks? Yeah. So if you're feeling inspired and want to drop off some painted rocks, the more the merrier. Or this rock might say it better, Yoda Best. Take one if it speaks to them, give one to a friend who might need a little inspiration, or paint one to help our garden grow. That's the whole idea behind the project. Great idea, right? Oh, those kids were great. I love all the rocks, too. Mm -hmm. Up next, how to tackle one of the grossest things that sometimes show up at school, lice. Mm, a little later, hey, two stars of Grey's Anatomy who found their happily ever after at the end of last season are together again as a couple in a new movie called Indivisible. We're gonna be talking to them in a few. First though, we're gonna send down over to Studio A for an update on today's latest news and weather.